Residents of Alice Springs have had a gutful of crime and want something done. The Northern Territory's police commissioner is in the town to deal with the problem but says no extra police will be brought in. Instead, he's come up with a plan for government agencies and the community to work together. Alison Horne reports. Night after night, this is what police in Alice Springs have to deal with. But last night, the Northern Territory's police commissioner tagged along on patrol, witnessing the carnage firsthand. The community of Alice Springs deserve better. I think they've had a gutful of crime, social dysfunction and the myriad consequences that arise from that social dysfunction. Today he announced his plan to get back control of the town and that is to get all government and other agencies working together. But despite the Chief Minister promising more officers, the Commissioner didn't take him up on his offer. My task is not to run a police operation and this is not a police operation. Uh, all we have out of a zero tolerance approach by the Chief Minister is one additional police officer, that's the Police Commissioner. There appears to be no coordination between agencies, no additional resources, no solutions to the problems that we see on the streets of Alice Springs. There's also no mention of helping people return to their remote communities or about alcohol policy. The level of crime, violence, alcohol abuse is still unacceptable. It may be that it hasn't got any worse, but it is still unacceptable and we need to take action. And so I think one of the most immediate things that can be done is to get rid of cheap alcohol. But the Commissioner says the community of Alice Springs needs to give the new approach a go. The first thing we need to do is we need to be excited about this plan and we need to be optimistic as a community. That's wishful thinking for residents who say they just want action now. Alison Horn, ABC News, Alice Springs.